guys, Alex here with another tutorial on, oh actually this time it's going to be uh, doing the cool little effect I showed you guys earlier in the video. And it's a 3D effect you can only do in Sony Vegas Pro 10. So if you have any other versions of Sony Vegas, um, this will not work. So I have a Call of Duty footage here. And what you want to do is kind of once you're uh, having a like a little doorway like like this this one right here uh, you want to cut the footage delete the beginning of the footage and then make sure the preview option is set to best and full and then save the image anywhere you want. And then bring that image down to your timeline. Basically, and you want to move your image depending on how long you want the uh, little transition effects to be. So let's try this. So about two seconds. And then I want to Go to the image, select the crop option, and then zoom in all the way onto the door, and then rotate it to about 180, 160 degrees, and then go to the last keyframe, or actually go, leave a couple of um, milliseconds at the end, just so um, it gives it a more smoother transition and then once you're about towards the end just click this right click it and then hit restore and let's preview the option all right so that's good so what we have left is to do the 3D effect. Now, in order to do that, you must have the 3D option on. Hold on, let me change this to HD. You need to have the 3D option on, and you can choose any of these three options. Anaglyph, Red Cyan, Amber Blue, and Green Magenta. So I'm just going to select Red, apply it. And then I want to go to video effects. And then you want to go all the way down to stereoscopic 3D adjust. And then as you see here, the horizontal offset is what makes it 3D. So if you move it, it'll make it 3D. So what you want to do is select this, which is animate. And then go on the random parts of the timeline and then choose uh, the horizontal offset and put it to a random number. And this will give it that shaky 3D effect. So that's that. And let's preview video so that's good um, so we're basically done uh, if you want for more uh, 3d if oh actually more uh, transition to that 3d effect you can select any footage Select any footage and then get your 3D effect that we just did and then put it right next to the video. And then you want to 
kind of to crossfade onto the image. So about one second. And then go to transitions, go to video effects. And then go to quick blur and go to default and drag it on to this little area right here. Actually, go to transitions and then go to soft flash. And this will give it that cool effect. So, so basically, uh, while it's rendering, um, it's basically the same result I showed you guys earlier in the video. And if you have any more questions on how to do this, just ask in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.